Need to slow down. Oh, really? One in one of these. <laughs> Drinks later. Not in the 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now scram while you still can. Never mind. Nah, I'll give you 50 bucks for it. Oh, come on! This is a genuine driver's license. It's gotta be worth at least 70. Brother, 50 bucks, take it or leave it, yeah? I doubt someone else would give you the time of day. Oh, fine, tight ass. Jeff, how's it hanging? <laughs> well, if it isn't Eric Tomizawa. You hit upon a camera? Or did you want some carne asada? No, and hell no. Huh. Who have we here? My passport got stolen three days ago. You see it? Ah, <sighs> gee, I don't know. Let me ask my manager. Dude, you really gonna hold out on us? Last time I checked, bro, I wasn't running a charity. Ah, oh, pretty please. I accept all payments in cash. Come back when you actually have business, huh? Well, you heard the bastard. We're gonna need to pay him up front. How much is he gonna want? Eh, somewhere around 30 bucks. Might be able to haggle it down, though. Ugh, still pretty steep. Guess I'll need to come up with some cash. Well, whatever. If that's what it takes to find Shitose, I'll do it. Hmm. Shitose? Hey, you two. Over here. Huh? I happen to over here. You looking for a woman named Chitose? Uh, yeah. You got any info? I might have an idea of where you could find her. <laughs> Pretty young thing, right? Got her hair and braids like a dancer? Yeah, yeah! That's gotta be her! Where'd you last see her, old-timer? Take this. This is... for sex work? Like an escort service? Well, can't say you're asking the right guy, but my guess is... it's for scoring some intimate time, if you catch my drift. See, the other day, while I was dozing off around here, a guy dialed up the number on that flyer. And then, that Jatose girl showed up. Oh man, she was unforgettable. Just couldn't take my eyes off her. From what I heard, she's that company's top talent. Hmm. Sounds like we have us a lead. Let's give him a ring. And, and hey, good looking out. But I gotta ask, why bother helping a couple of strangers? <laughs> Always happy to assist my fellow Japanese. Not to mention, Jeff's a douche. Makes me sick to watch him profit off of what he does. Well, guess what? You're a lifesaver, man. Thanks. Ah, don't mention it. If you do find her, just buy me a drink next time you pass by. You got it. Heck, I'll even take you bar hopping. Okay, you ready? Do it. Yes, hello. You've reached Gary's love camp. Hi, uh, hello. I saw your flyer and decided to call. And I'm, I'd like to invite a, a woman over. Huh? Congratulations. You're our hundredth customer. To celebrate, your service today is on the house. Luck is in your favor, my friend. Oh, for real? Thanks. Now then. Could you please provide your name and current location? The name's Koska. I'm, uh, next to Chef's Taco Truck. Oh, that's quite a sketchy spot. I completely understand your concern. Uh, I, I wouldn't say I'm concerned, exactly. Okay, well in that case, I'll send you one of our up-and-comers. 
still wet behind the ears, but get the job done. Oh, wait, hold on. Actually, I was wondering if I could request Chitose, if possible. You want to request Chitose? Uh, just a moment, please. Hmm. Today really is your lucky day. As our rising star, Chitosi's usually all booked up, but she does have an opening right now. Oh, what a relief. If you could, we send her on over. Of course. She'll be there lickety split. Thank you for your business. Did it work? Yep, Chitose's on her way. She'll be here lickety split, the guy said. Good. Strange, though. I thought these businesses only sent someone to your hotel. Not that I'd know. Come to think of it, yeah. Maybe it's more like a dating service. Like where you meet up somewhere and go to the hotel later. Or that's a thing these days. <laughs> you sure know your stuff. You, uh, do this pretty often? Oh, not at all. It, it's just, I was raised in a soap land, so uh, this kind of deal's second nature to me. No kidding. You learn something new every day. It's nothing special. Oh, sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, looks like she's here. Huh? Where? Hey, over here! What? you oh um are you mr kasuga uh yeah I, i'm kasuga nice to meet you i'm chitose <laughs> can't believe we found you so quickly what a flawless plan nice going kasuga what what uh... mm -hmm. that's not her at all what we've got the wrong one yeah, this chick's completely different! What, what the hell, old man? Huh? Uh, don't blame me! Isn't this what you're looking for? My name's Chitose. It's similar, too. I mean, yeah, the hair's the same, and, and that name sure is a coincidence. But, uh, our Chitose isn't so... Uh, chiseled. What, am I not good enough for you? Talk about rude. No, look, it, it's not like that. We're plenty good. Say son? Hey, you shitheads making a racket. That's it. Time to shut you people up. We can figure this out later, Kasuga. Let's take care of these guys first. Uh, right. Hey, Chitose son. Things are about to get rough, so stay behind us. Why? I ain't afraid of little boy over here. And besides, isn't this what you called me over for? Huh? I-I'm not sure I understand. You requested me, Chitose Buster Homes from Poundmates? Poundmates is a unique service that deploys fabulous fighters to help combat your pugilistic problems. Sorry, what? Hey, nobody fucking annoys me and lives to speak about it. You bitches are dead! Let's do this, Kasuga. Hell yeah! Run on home to mama! Okay, you asked for it. Here's the one. Hey, you've reached 
found me. Oh, oh yeah, yes, thank you. Delivery. Special delivery. Been looking forward to this one. I'll catch you. Who the hell are these dudes? And that chick, she's a monster. So, gonna run like a chicken? Or do we still got beef? What's it gonna be? Ah! Oh, please, please don't hurt me. And that does it for your free trial. Next time I'll have to charge, but I hope to see you again soon. Uh, sure. Alrighty, toodles. What was that all about? Well, that was pound mates. Whenever you're in a pinch, press pound to order some backup. You really do know your stuff. You do this often, too? I may have gone through a phase. <laughs> Good old pound mates. Never would have guessed they'd expand all the way into Hawaii. Talk about going global. Now, she wasn't the Chitose I expected. But she was a damn cool Chitose in the end. Ah. Yes. Totally. Pigeons in Hawaii. I mean, Ijincho had a bunch, but there feels like 
boar here. Chickens, too. And the bird's behavior seems subtly different. If you eat outside, before long, they all start closing in on you. Kiryu-san, you ever have a meal stolen by a pigeon? No. I've been surrounded by 20 ones. But I held my ground. Though, it was a 10 standoff. Wow. Even Come pigeons on. respect Kiryu's glare. Street performers in Japan, but Hawaii's go all out. You turn a corner and there's someone swallowing fire. There's a lot of history behind public performance here. And this area oh. is especially popular with tourists. A lot of acts hey, have actually gotten you. their start just nearby. Oh, so these streets are like gateways to... Get out of my town! The battle is on! Here we go. It's all worked out now. Mm. Think you can handle this? Huh? <laughs> Looks like I'm up. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Cool. Something wrong? Are you getting scared? Here we go. My heart. There's no one in the back. Why you still can? Hey, I'm even stronger now. Who knew I had it in me? Yeah. So what we were saying earlier, a lot of acts have actually gotten their start just nearby. Oh, so these streets are like gateways to fame. In a gene show, there was a guitar duo that got big from busking. Guess it's kind of like that here? From street performer to sign? <laughs> Ain't that the dream. Oh, why don't we try it? We could get scouted! And make our major label debut. Sounds fun, all right. Yeah, let's rock the world! We'll change entertainment forever! Wait, first, we've got to learn sheet music. 
You're not joking, are you? Thank you very much. Hey! Aloha! Fine. Around here, you said? This place has delivery jobs? It should, anyway. And hang out for a while. They'll show up. I, I, I'm gonna take off. Uh, good luck to you. That's it? Figured you were staying. I don't know why you thought that. I am a taxi driver, not some pedal-pushing bike boy. 
Take it sleazy. For a job, bro? Huh? Uh, uh, yeah. All right, all right. Hmm. Wild fro, unique face. Getting a real wholesome moron vibe from you. Crazy, I dig it. You got a problem? Who the hell are you anyway? Me? I'm from the company you applied to. Crazy Eats. Food so fast, you'll think you've gone crazy. Call me Charlie. You're from... Seriously? Um, uh, sorry. My name's Ichiban Kasuga. I'm flat broke, so I need any work you've got. I beg you. Nice, nice. I like a guy who just lays it all out like that. You might just have what it takes to be crazy. Okay, you're in, Ichibro. Welcome aboard. Huh? Uh, hell yeah! Just like that? Sure, you've got the goods. More importantly, we're short staff. We'll hire anybody these days. Dogs, monkeys, bugs, shit, you name it. I, I uh, uh, okay. Well, uh, thank you. Yep, now, enough chit chat. Let's get you rolling. Uh, sure, so, um, what's the job like? I only know it's some kind of food delivery. Yeah, that's right. We pick the food up and bike it on over to customers. The real money is in tips, by which I mean the only money you keep is from tips. More deliveries, more dinero. All right, deliver the food. The faster I go, the more I make. You know, when I was really hard up, I used to bike around for empty cans. I got this. <laughs> That's wild, man. I should tell you, though, there's one other way to earn moolah on this gig. Something that'll boost my pay? Hell yeah, I'm all ears. Well, I'm talking about delivering crazy. What does that mean? I mean, we're crazy eats, aren't we? A crazy delivery is what we strive to embody. Crazy is captivating. Crazy is captivating? For example, consider how I made my entrance just now. Jump, spinning around, screaming. It's captivating stuff, wouldn't you say? Seeing our delivery associates act fun and funky is exactly what Crazy Eats is all about. The extra service we provide. We want to make the people of Hawaii laugh and smile with our outside-of-the-box way of doing things. That's how Crazy Eats disrupts the entire delivery industry. Look where we are! People come here for a reprieve from the dull and ordinary. Do you really think food delivery in paradise should be the same as it is everywhere else? It's a nice idea, but writing like that? Wouldn't all of it just spill? That's where your skill as a contracted deliverist comes in. Ride as fantastically as you can without making a mess of the food and go fast. Somewhere in all that chaos lies the brilliance of a true crazy creature. And listen, even if the food does take a spill, we got insurance for it. Customers will hopefully be understanding. Of course, we don't insure the deliverer, so look out for yourself. Anyway. Sound good to you? You in? Sure, I'm in. Okay. That's more than enough onboarding. Learn by doing, I say. How's about you give it a go right now?
crazy delivery.
Oh, that's the last of it. Excellente! Ichibro, that was sick! You almost never see someone disrupt so hard on their first go. My man, crazy deliveries might just be what you were born to do. <laughs> Thanks. It was tough, but once I got into a groove, pretty fun. Oh, isn't it? The rush of speed, the danger of failing, the insanity of your presentation. Oh, it's like ecstasy. You can't get that feeling from just riding a bike. You need the pressure of delivering. For most people, it's too much. Adrenaline demons like you, bro, you're gonna master it and get rich! Work hard and become the craziest delivery associate we've ever had. Oh, hey, let me give you this. Something to commemorate your first run. Thanks. Glad to be working with you, Charlie. Ditto, bro. This is your calling. I know it. Remember, ABC, always be crazy. Totally. <laughs> Hello. Your face is the battle is on. Cool. Allow me. You'll regret it. Let's do it. Cool. I think I'm getting stronger.
Let's get serious. Drive safely. You. I've got your money. Is this enough to get you to talk? Hmm, I suppose. What should I be talking about again? My passport got stolen three days ago. I want to know if someone brought it by. Hmm, someone sure did. Really? She was Japanese, and not to mention gorgeous. No doubt that passport was yours. <laughs> I couldn't forget that thuggish face or blown up hair if I tried. Okay, so she sold it to you? Oh no, she wasn't here to make money. She just wanted to know if it would get her into District 5. District 5? Uh, that's the Barracuda's hideout. Their hideout? You mean the guys from yesterday? Yeah, they got a squatter encampment across the river. It's all fenced in, with guards posted up at every corner. And if you're not one of them, huh, no good luck getting in. Or out. Okay, and how's my passport supposed to get someone in? Well, they have an interesting rule. If you're an outsider, they tell you to go steal a passport. Why is that exactly? That's how they make their money, fabricating passports. Apparently, the only way to make a good fake is by altering an original. Every passport I buy, I sell to them. Though not directly, of course. So someone else's passport is your ticket to District 5, huh? Pretty much. <laughs> and the girl who came by with yours, that ticket's probably long gone. Though, a girl like her should not be anywhere near District 5 by herself. Oh, wait. I tried to tell her, but no. Nobody listens to Jeff. Then what would make her even want to go in there? Beats me. But I doubt you'll see your passport again, brother. Once it's in District 5, it does not leave. Well, I need it back. And I've got business with the thief who took it. Yeah. Well, you can kiss your thief goodbye, too. Unless you follow her into District 5 somehow. Your adventure ends here, pal. Well, you heard him. I'd rather live to see tomorrow, so... Listen, Akane-san's mixed up in some real bad stuff. Someone might even be holding her captive. And right now, Chitose's our only lead. Hmm. Can we get into District 5 another way? <laughs> I mean, maybe. But you're better off just swiping a passport. Hey, if there's another way, just tell us. Look, bottom line. District 5 is an impenetrable fortress of bombs. But, if you're a cop, you could probably get in. A cop? Yeah, 
<laughs> they do a monthly sweep there, claiming it's for safety reasons. But they just walk in and out, ignoring all the atrocities inside. They're just doing it to keep up appearances. All they care about is that and donuts. Anyway, if you want to know the guy in charge, his name is Roman. He's probably in deep with the Barracudas. So we'll ask Roman to bring us along on patrol. That could be an option. Man, I never want to see a cop again. True, you're still a wanted man. Maybe leave the talking to me. Hmm, guys, you gotta realize. Roman's gonna flag this as a risk. And he's a greedier jerk-off than me. Expect to pay him 50,000 bucks. Uh, a buck's like a hundred yen, right? That'd be... Five million in yen? Please don't bring him yen. And besides, there's no way you can afford it. Is it clear you're wasting your time yet? No, I'd say this is our chance. What? <laughs> you have a mattress full of money lying around? No. Everything is negotiable, that's all. Huh. Well, I don't know who you think you are, but what's the harm in trying? He drinks every night at Diamond Head, a bar by District 5. We Akamai now? Sure. Hey, we really doing this? Hey, guys, could you hold up a second? Why? Something wrong? You really shouldn't go to District 5. I'm saying this for your own good. Waltzing right into Barracuda Turf? It's practically suicide. We're aware of the danger, but we don't have time on our side. If going into District 5 is the quickest way to solve things, then so be it. Right. And it's not like we're out to wreck the place. We're just gonna look for Chitose and get out. Yeah, if things play out right, you might not have to deal with the Barracudas at all. See? It's exactly that kind of thinking that's gonna get us all killed! <clears throat> Maybe you're right. Maybe they're more dangerous than we realize because we're not from here. But what's this really all about? Something tells me you've got more to say. You have history with the Barracudas? Is that it? You know, you can always tell us. What makes you think we wouldn't help? He's right. And until you talk, he'll hound you to the ends of the earth. You know how persistent he is. Really gotta put it like that? Uh... So, this is far from a fun story. And not a short one either. It all happened a few years back. I was just a simple taxi driver. No Yamai, no cons, nothing like that. So you really were an honest cabbie, once? Yeah, well, I also wasn't rich, but I, I was happy. I had a woman to love, and man, did she love me. You believe we almost had a kid? I'm looking back. Those were the best days of my life. Huh. Never knew you had a family. And my girl. Her name was Marie. She was... astounding. And you guys would have loved her. Anyway, she was nearly... six months pregnant when it happened. And the cops showed up at our place with a warrant for my arrest. They came to arrest you? For what? They said I held up a cab and stole a bunch of money from some executive. What the hell? I was being framed, obviously. But the witnesses kept pouring in. And before I knew it, the judge gave me five years in prison. And the attorney had told me if I tried pleading innocent, they'd lock me for 15 years instead. So you pled guilty then? Yeah. It was... Either I swallow the five years, or take the risk and triple it. And I was too broke to hire a better lawyer. It was like a nightmare I couldn't wake up from. I had my whole life ahead of me, and then in an instant, it was gone. Oh. I never even understood why. That is, till I got to prison. 
Turns out I wasn't the only one screwed over like this. They told me so themselves. You mean the guys in prison? Yeah. Apparently, the Barracudas get away with so much shit because their boss will set up innocent people instead. He'll bring in a bunch of fake witnesses or buy out the police if he has to. You remember Roman, that cop Jeff mentioned? He's the guy pulling the strings on the law side. <sighs> Seems not a lot's changed since then. So the Barracudas have the police in their pocket. Uh, how'd Marie take it? When I got locked up, she only came to see me once. She told me she miscarried. No. And she was under so much stress. Should have seen it coming. I doubt she was eating right or getting any sleep. Her eyes were sunken. She was thin as a bone. All because this bullshit that happened to me. And that was the last I saw of her. When I got out, I couldn't find a single trace of her. Honestly, I just hope that she's out there doing okay. I told you this wasn't gonna be fun. And that's only half the story. Once I was free, I started hanging by this fancy restaurant in District 5. Why? Because word inside was that it was the favorite haunt of the Barracuda's boss. So I spent every last cent I had to my name and bought a gun. Shit. For revenge? For Marie. For a child who never had a chance at life. I knew what the boss looked like. I'm not sure anymore how long it took, but I kept watching until the day he showed his face. When I was locked up, always imagined it going the exact same way. I rushed past his goons, stepped right up to him, and emptied my whole clip point blank. And the moment came. I was shaken. Couldn't move. <sighs> he even had fewer guards than I'd pictured. Should have been easy. Bastard walked right past me. He didn't have a care in the world. I'm a fucking coward. Maybe. But that's why you're alive today. If you'd gone through with it, you would have been killed. Just another gutted corpse. At least I'd have been killed for a reason. What am I now? A ghost? Robs tourists with a gun he hasn't got the courage to shoot? Isn't it better to die for something than to live for nothing? Tomisawa. With all my money gone, I fell in with Yamai to pay my debts. He's the only man left in Hawaii still stupid enough to compete with the Barracudas. What's that say about me? Huh? I'm even stupider for following him. Or maybe I was hoping he'd be able to take them down someday. But I knew it in 